Exciting new <laughs> cola gains popularity. Cola is great. I s cola is great, says Cola Institute. Annoying housewife claims cola evil. Photos of live housewife. And we're back here. As a poo. Hey guys, we're back and I'm doing the um a poo level. This is the first time I didn't mimic you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm not sure of you. Anyway, Pooh's car is quite fast. It is, he's got a sweet car. Previous, oh god, this, this, the building <laughs> the of popsicle. straw. The popsicle tower's burnt down. Oh. See, it's things like that. Nice touch. It appears to be like sunrise kind of thing. Yeah, like very early morning. Where am I meant to be going here? You're going to the train area. Ah. You know, that area of all the trains. <laughs> Redundancy. Pets and meat. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, by the way, that little van there says vote Quimby. Vote Quimby. Vote Quimby. Look, you see the string on against Lava? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice little touch. Phone's going. I know. I love the I love the little attention to details. Okay, and you're in the area necessary. It's just that little bit to your right right now. Behind that glass. You gotta go there. Right there. Right there. Now get out so a, a poo can have his inner monologue. Oop. Did you forget how to play the game? It's only been a day, Danny. Oh, I have been selling tainted cola. Unless I redeem myself, I will be reincarnated as a sea cucumber. Or worse, a land cucumber. I must find the source of this evil beverage. The soda invoice commanded I go here, but I see no cola factory. Oh, a cola truck. Time for me to do that Hindu that I do. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Incriminating caffeine. I can't remember if you're supposed to destroy it or just knock it ten times. Okay, you knock it eleven times. Christ. Oh, God. Nice going, asswipe. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, didn't didn't I have boss in this level set off? Yeah. Okay. Just, re just couldn't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gone left. Who needs the cookie mark? I do. Hey, he lied to us in song. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> Get that bricky mark. That quickie mark is real. Don't. <laughs> Who needs the quickie mark? Not me. Thank you, John. Not me. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, that's another thing. The wasp camera now have gained the power of force fields. It takes two hits to kill them instead of the usual one. Bitches! <laughs> I'm not quite sure why, though. Because they're getting more advanced. <gasps> Advances? That can't be. Shit. You're running out of time, Danny. No, I'm not. You're running out of distance. <laughs> Oh no. Fuck yeah, bitches! You're almost there, Danny, we can trust you, we... F Shit. Okay, you fucked up. <laughs> I'm taking a shortcut. Uh, the... the you... Oh, bastard, that would have worked if I hadn't crashed. No! <sighs> Out of my fucking... Way. Oh, for Quickie God's sake. Quickie you suck. You suck, cause you know you bloody suck, 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 suck. <laughs> You suck. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh, come on. Tell me what you mean to How me when you suck, suck, that? suck. Not good. Danny, you are a rooster teeth. <laughs> I didn't understand the word of that. 
are you aware of Rooster Teeth? Yes. Are you aware of one of the um, people that work at Rooster Teeth? Mainly Gavin Free. Yes. Are you aware of his quirky, weird antics and questions he always asks people? Yes. Well, I... <laughs> For fuck's sake. Right, don't talk to me. Okay. I'll tell you, do like the music on this level. I remember being silent and you still fucking shocked! Out <laughs> oh, of fucking way. Where the hell is that? Oh. Bastard. I've noticed the very little amount of noise coming out of my mouth, yet you still fucking suck! I didn't tell you to shut up. I stop, uh, told you to stop asking me stupid questions about rooster teeth. Although I must admit I am enjoying the silence. Fuck you. I've stayed quiet, but you still suck. I will strangle you with the wire of this controller. Did you ever notice that during a Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was brilliant. Damn it! You can't blame me because you suck. He told me to look at a photo. I stayed silent and you still suck! <laughs> anyway, during GTA 3, you'll know, I'll ask the same question to Rob. Anyway, because Gavin's always weird talking about weird hypotheticals, the most weirdest ones you can think of, I thought I'd decide to. Surprise Rob by asking him just like a random weird hypothetical and the weird hypothetical was if you get 500 gra 500 grand a year for doing absolutely nothing Except the only downside is every time you ejaculate you teleport somewhere. Would you accept it? What the fuck? <laughs> Oddly enough that was his response <laughs> Well, would you? No! <laughs> Not even 500k a year? No! <laughs> That's like a million quid in two years. <laughs> I probably would. <laughs> Not worth it. It's 500k! <laughs> Did I choose where I teleported? Um, no, but I think probably eventually you start getting used to it. <laughs> so, you know, you could probably use it to your advantage. <laughs> no, that would be a pain in the arse. And the... The reason I didn't do that drop is because... That. Yeah. <laughs> one of the things... One of the, like, drop. It was quite funny, though, because we started thinking of scenarios you could be in. I said, just imagine if you're getting chased by the cops and you need to get away, so you just jacked off in front of them. Now, that's... <laughs> see, now that's using it to your advantage. <laughs> but I'm more thinking immediately my thought... No, oh, I was. I'm with a girl. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's no... That's no good. And then, I mean... I don't, I don't even know the range of this... Uh, the range of this teleportation. Is it, like, a few feet or... Is, you know, if I have sex with a girl, suddenly I'm in Belgium. <laughs> it's possible. That's, that's it's about. worldwide kind of thing. You could literally it's end up world, anywhere. It's worldwide, is it? Not just limited <laughs> limited to this country. Yep. The other, the, other side of the, the other side of the town would be a pain in the arse. <laughs> We're going to the opposite end of the world. <laughs> no, no, I think that's a bit far <laughs> in terms of teleporting. <laughs> Cornwall. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, suddenly I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> It'll be the cheapest holiday, though. <laughs> if you're lucky. You get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> so, the answer, the answer to that question would be thoroughly no. You can just imagine it, though. You're just like, oh, I need to go home. So you just go into a toilet and you never come back out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would have, there'd be like three advantages to it, but, and like two disadvantages, but it's a big disadvantage because you pretty much can't have sex. <laughs> so essentially what he's asking, five on, 
for 500 grand a year or not having sex or rather you are going to want to avoid sex at all costs? Well, it'll be the greatest thing for one night stands, wouldn't you say? <laughs> It would be good, yeah. You would, you would get out of that. Uh, get out of there, but you get out the second. You don't know where you're going to end up. All your clothes are still there. You'd have to go back, which is even worse. I didn't think of that, actually. I didn't think the fact that your clothes are still there. You'd leave your clothes. Well, you have exact clothes. You're, cl- you're not going to have your clothes on, are they? They're going to get left behind. You so have, what's- just have that awkward conversation. Uh, do you mind if I keep my clothes on? <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to go have sex with your clothes on, but you'd still, you'd still a bit... Uh, but that's not funny, who wants to keep the clothes on? Keep, keep in mind though, you got 500k a year so you could afford more clothes. <laughs> Just buy like some cheap ones every time. <laughs> but then there's the problem of, I think we're, I think we're, <laughs> we're not addressing the main issue. The limitation of being, wait, you don't know where you're going to end up. Well, you don't know where we're going to end up and, you know, I'm a random stranger just casually strolling along the street. Pop, what's this? <laughs> It's a naked man who's just suddenly <laughs> appeared in front of me with a hard on. There you go. The legitimate businessman social club. <laughs> Pinballs! Double jump and square. I'm not even on this. Apu has a very weird second jump. 